well, I'm going to fix this clock. It currently doesn't work, I'm going to repair it. And um, if you want to see me do that, or you want to see how to make a clock yourself, make sure you watch the video. So this clock was uh, what well, belongs to my wife. She's had it for many years before she met me. And I think it was gifted to her from a friend of hers or something. And so it's, you know, she quite likes it. And it failed. The actual clock mechanism failed. I did try to repair it, but I made a bit of a mess of it. And I didn't end up recording video on it, that sort of stuff. Because, well, I did record video, but I ended up throwing it away because it was a disaster. You don't want to see a disaster. Do you? So I purchased, as you may have seen in my mail bag recently, I purchased these clock mechanisms. Which should be able to replace the one that's already on there. They come with hands as well, but... I don't know what hands I'm going to end up using for it because I mean these ones look ugly. I did have another clock here which I purchased previously, but the um, the shaft was too short. It wasn't quite enough to protrude out the front. It was just flush with the face. So these ones should be slightly longer. I hope so. And um, I mean ideally I put these hands back on here, but I don't think they're the same size. They weren't on the other one anyway. But the other clock had nicer hands than these ones, so I'm hoping I can uh, actually swap them out anyway. So let's pull this thing apart and um, replace the clock mechanism. So the first thing you want to do is obviously take the hands off. So, take that off. It would be nice to keep the actual original hands, but I don't think that's going to be possible because they're different sizes. So there's that, and that's um, just a nut off. This is all, so we pulled it apart previously, so it's all pretty easy to get apart. See that one there was only just in anyway. You can see it's only right there. So let's pop that out. And there's the actual clock. So let's put the new one in. Oh, I'm going to drop it and destroy it in the process. It should fit and protrude much more. That's great. So let's get the um, other parts out here. Now I actually purchased, for some reason, I've got two clocks. I don't know why I've got two, but it's a bit odd. I don't think I would have purchased two, but how it did. Show it back in again. Dropping everything out. Nice brass washer. All well, this brass effect washer, it probably isn't really brass. It's probably steel which has been plated. Here's the cheap Chinese clock after all. Alright, so that's on there. Let's just uh, get some better tweezers. Really I should put like a proper spanner on this, but it doesn't really need to be that tight. It just needs to be enough so it's not loose, that's all. Okay, also you don't have a tight and rip it out of the back of the thing either. Okay. So, like I said before, these original hands, well, these hands that came with it, they're plastic and they're not particularly pretty. I mean, I don't know. What do you reckon? Do you think these will look alright now or not? I don't think so. They're, they're certainly not like they're not as nice as the originals. So, let's just have a look at the other clock which I purchased previously, which I think will probably be the same dimensions. I'm sure these won't fit. No, see, these don't go on, which is a shame different sizes. So I'll look at the other one which had different hands and hopefully those fit this one. Okay so this is the original clock which I purchased previously. So the shaft is uh, as you can see a different length which is you know, probably see in there it's shorter. So that was a bit of a pain but it came with these hands instead which will hopefully fit on this mechanism because they all seem to be very similar designs anyway. So let's just have a look. This one came with a different mounting system. It's got a washer in there too, which this didn't have, but probably doesn't matter. So let's have a look. So let's stick the hands, our handle first. It feels like it's going to go on. Yep, that's on there. Okay. Let's try the minutes hand. Yeah, I'll start at 12. That's on. Let's put the seconds hand on. Yes, it all fits. Winner, winner. Now, the hands are rather big compared to the actual clock face. Mm, I don't know about that. But they are what they are. Alright, so let's chuck a battery in and see if it actually works. Alright, battery going in. It's actually marked at least the polarity. Sometimes they're not very really clear. This one is nice and clear, but which way around it goes. I might just chuck it that way around instead. There we go. And let's adjust the time. Second hand is moving. Excellent. And the time currently is, oh, I'm way off there. <laughs> well, is that where the day's gone? Right, um, that, is that hitting? I think it is, yes it is. So I have to tweak it a little bit. 
12 something, 1220-ish, there you go. Let's just try and tweak these hands a little bit so obviously it's touching. Just need to adjust the placement slightly. Not a big deal. That's better. Another one hit. So there we go. One repaired clock. I mean, the hands aren't perfect. I mean, I suppose if you shot around a bit more, you might be able to find some other hands which will fit. Or maybe the original ones can be modified. No, I don't think that will fit in the centre, would it? I think these seconds hand at least maybe could get, I could get one. No, even that's different size. So everything's different size. So I can't put any of those bits on for the original hands, which is a shame because that I think are actually nicer. But uh, you can't do much about that. I suppose you could maybe open the holes up a little bit if you're really motivated. Might be able to punch them through a bit more. I don't know, but you wouldn't be able to do that with this piece, obviously. But with those, you could uh, if you're really desperate. But I'm going to just put them to one side and leave them spares for something else. Maybe the one day I'll need that size instead of the other size. Please leave comments down below about what you think. I'll chuck a link in as well for the actual clock items as well, so you know where to buy them from. If you make one or fix one, please let me know. Share the video with your friends, chuck it on social media, or whatever. You know, maybe some people want to make a clock and they want to know how to do it. It's actually quite easy. You can buy these things. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.